IPv6 is a matter of bits and nibbles. You will need to know some binary conversions and hexadecimal. If you do not, try to learn that first. An IPv6 address consists out of 128 bits, from bit 1 to bit 128. That is four times the addressing space of an IPv4 address, which is only 32 bits wide. One IPv6 address has actually two major parts, a network part and a host part. Each part consists of 64 bits that is valid for both the network and the host. Looking a bit deeper into the network area, we can break up the 64 bits into four equal chunks of 16 bits each. And within each chunk, we can group four bits into four groups, allowing us to make a proper hexadecimal presentation. IPv6 addresses are noted in hexadecimal. It is impossible to write a IPv6 address in binary. The network. Let's have a closer look. We've got 64 bits. We can break them up into four blocks of 16 bits each. And within every block, we have four groups of four bits. A group of four bits will be represented by a single hexadecimal value. IPv6 addresses are noted in hexadecimal. Groups of 16 bits are separated with a column, as we've seen before. So here is our first chunk of 16 bits, and the first four bits can have any value between 000 and 1111 in a binary form. This can be translated into a decimal value between 0 and 15, or a hexadecimal value between 0 and F. The following bit pattern would translate into the following hexadecimal number for the first 16 bits. 9 in hexadecimal is 1001 in binary, as you can see within the lookup table. 1110 equates to hexadecimal E. And 0111 equates to 7. And all 1s in binary equates to a F in hexadecimal. So the hex representation of that binary number is 9E7F. Let's look at an example. Here we have our network address consisting out of 64 bits and a host address. We can now break down the hexadecimal values of the network address into the individual bit patterns, as you can see. E equates to 110. 2 equates to 0, 1, 0, and so on. But just like IPv4, IPv6 can be subnetted. And this is how we can do it. It's simple and straightforward. Subnets are identified with a slash and a number at the back. Let's take the example. We've got our network address and the first 64 bits are identifying the network. So basically, the first 64 bits, FE232345 EFAD0103, is the network, as shown below. The remaining bits in the back uh, are the host number and the demarcation point between the host and the network is at bit position 64. Let's look at another example where we take the same IP address but then with the slash 32. So now the network address is only 32 bits wide FE232345 and the remaining 32 bits is the area for the subnetting 
And now in this case, we have highlighted a subnet EFAD0103. Now the host area still remains 64 bits wide. So let's take an example. We have FE232345 EFD0103 with a mask of 32, meaning that FE232345 is the actual network number. And then we have 32 bits remaining. And in this case, we just show one subnet, EFAD0103. But this slash 32 allows us to create a whole bunch of subnets for network FE232345. And each of those subnets has 64 bits available for the host assignment. Now that is a lot of addressing space. That is how simple IPv6 is.